So in this question, a curve C has parametric equations x is equal to 2t minus 1 and y is equal to 4t minus 7 plus 3 over t. And we know also that t will not be equal to 0. So we're being asked to show that the Cartesian equation of the curve C, so this equation here, can be written in the following form with y being equal to 2x squared plus ax plus b divided by x plus 1. So a and b, they're both integers, and we need to get, it, get this, these two equations into this form, and then we'll find out what a and b are. So the first step, we've got our equations written out here, and what I'm going to do first is I'm going to rearrange this expression for x, but this time get it in terms of t. So we'll write that as x plus 1 is equal to 2t and then to isolate this t on its own what we're going to do is divide by 2. So that means that t is equal to x plus 1 divided by 2. The next step is going to be to substitute this expression for t into this equation for y. So how do we know to do this? Well our end goal it is something which is in terms of x and it's going to be equal to y. So we see we have y here and we have t's here but we know that we also have something which is t which is equal to something in terms of x. So if we substitute this into this equation here that will then mean we have an expression for y in terms of x. So we can do that as follows. y is going to be equal to 4 lots of x plus 1 over 2. Then we're going to subtract 7. And then we have then 3 over t. So that will be 3 over x plus 1 over 2. And since we're dividing by a fraction, we can multiply it but flip it. So that will be then equal to 3 times 2 over x plus 1. So the 3 times 2 comes from the fact we have uh, 3 there and 2 there. So... The next step from here will, to be ex to, will be to expand out the brackets. So we'll have that y is equal to 4 lots of x plus 1 divided by 2 minus 7 plus 6 divided by x plus 1. So then the next step will be to further tidy this up. So we see here that this 4 and 2 will cancel out and leave us with 2 lots of x plus 1 so we can expand those brackets further which will be 2x plus 2 then we subtract our 7 and then this final term stays as it is for just now so then we can collect these like terms here which will leave us with y being equal to 2x and 2 take away 7 is going to be minus 5 then we're going to add on 6 over x plus 1 to that. So the next step for us is going to be to combine these into one single fraction. So we can do this as follows. So let's just put brackets around our 2x minus 5 just to make things slightly clearer. So then what we're going to have, we can effectively think of this as 2x, plus, 2x minus 5 divided by 1. So we can use our kiss and smile technique, which is how we know to add fractions. So this is where we go multiply, multiply, and then multiply along the bottom. So what does this give us? Well, it gives us 2x minus 5 multiplied by x plus 1. Then we're going to add on 1 multiplied by 6, which is going to be equal to 6. And then we divide this by the denominators multiplying each other, 
which is going to be equal to x plus 1. So the next step is going to be to tidy up this numerator and get it into the form that we want. So we can expand these brackets and by doing this we'll have 2x squared and then we're going to have I'll just write it at the side just for quickness so we'll have 2x coming from this term and then we'll have minus 5x from that term so 2x minus 5x is going to be equal to minus 3x so we can then substitute that back in here so that will be 2x minus 3x and then our final term will be minus 5 multiplied by 1 which is going to be minus 5 then we add on 6 from this final term and then we still divide that by x plus 1 and then tidying this up we have minus 5 plus 6 so that's going to be equal to 1 so we then have 2x squared minus 3 x plus 1 divided by x plus 1. So now we look back to the question and we recall that we wanted to get get our expression into the form y is equal to 2x squared plus ax plus b divided by x plus 1. And looking back to our answer we see we have, the, have it in, in just that form. So we can conclude that y is equal to 2x squared minus 3x plus 1 all divided by x plus 1 and then we can also state the values of a and b so a is going to be equal to minus 3 and b is going to be equal to 1 And that is us. We have completed the question. So we're now going to take a look and see where we picked up our marks. So looking back at the question, this was worth three marks. So we pick up our first mark for attempting to substitute t equal to x plus 1 divided by 2. We pick up our first mark for trying to substitute that into our expression for y. So that's one mark we've picked up. We'll then receive our second mark for multiplying our fraction out to get it into one single fraction. So when we go from this point here through to this point here, that is where we'll pick up our second mark. And then our third and final mark it is going to come from coming to the correct answer here, where we said that y is equal to 2x squared minus 3x plus 1, all divided by x plus 1.